Yeah, my dad, I remember when I'm 15 years old, my dad decides it's time for us to have that talk. Yeah, so he sits me down with my two kids. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Paul, Paul, Paul! <laughs> You're dating now. Be safe. <laughs> that was our talk. Two words. Be safe. So I listened to him. Next time was this my girlfriend. I was about 38. And uh, <laughs> we're, we start making out. And then we hopped in the back seat. You know, we took off our jackets. And I buckled up. Uh, <laughs> safety first, you know. <laughs> safety first. <laughs> Like my dad, he's so cheap. You know, he's 83 years old, right? He refuses to get a hearing aid. He goes, why should I spend $2,500 for a hearing aid when it costs me nothing to say, huh? <laughs> yeah. But advice, you know, I, you know, I think the reason men and women find it difficult for relationships I think, it's, I think it's biology. I think it's based on the way we're built. Because look at men. Look at the way guys are built. Right? Look, at the, or look at our anatomy. You know, all day, you know, just got something hanging out. <laughs> all day, hanging out. It needs a place to go. <laughs> right? Women don't have that. Women don't think that way. What do women have? Women, women have like a nice home. Right, beautifully landscaped home, you know? <laughs> nice trim, nice patch of lawn right up to the front door. <laughs> Two-car garage, you know, it's uh... <laughs> I see her, I see her, I'm like, you are just what I've been looking for. <laughs> right? Yeah. I swear, I'm not horny, I am homeless. <laughs> Help me out, let me in. All I need is a roof over my head. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> you know, because women, you have to understand, that's all a guy's looking for, is something nice and cozy, you know? You know uh, not too lived in. Uh, you know, we don't want to check into a timeshare, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, but, uh, but anyway, uh, you, guys have been, uh, you guys have been a blast, and uh, I'll, I'll leave you with this. Thanks for coming out and supporting uh, the, uh, the TV show and live comedy. This is uh, one of the best clubs in the country. One of my favorites right here in Fort Wayne. Snickers. Uh, and, uh, oh, I have five? Oh, oh, I don't have to leave. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought I was getting in trouble. I, uh, oh, all right. What, what happened to my tea, for crying out loud? What'd you do, drink the iced tea and then take the free one? You greedy bastard! Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. So, so anyway, uh, uh, you know, you know, uh, you know, women, you know, guys, you have to understand that's a woman's home. That's her home, right? You, you, you can't just barge in there whenever you're ready, right? It's not like a Jiffy Lube. It's not, it's not a car wash. You don't wax on, wax off. You know, that's her home. That's prime real estate right there. Treat that with respect. Help, it's at home. Do a little, help out. Do a little interior decorating. Right, separate the curtains. Uh, move the furniture, just don't go in there and spackle. You know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> right, that's her home, that's her home. Guys, if you want to get in, if you want to get in, right, you got to think like a winner. <laughs> yeah, you, you got to think outside the box. <laughs> and you know what I find, you know what I find really helps? You know what I find really helps? Uh, uh, <laughs> it's her home, if you, if, you, if you show respect. You know what I find really helps? Just keep uh, ringing the doorbell. <laughs> Ringing the doorbell, right? Just keep ringing, you know. Right? And then she'll say she's coming, right? You know, she's ready to invite you in. Make sure she's ready. 
No sneak surprise. She's ready. You know, she's ready to let you in there. You know. And guys, be careful though, because sometimes you think you're ringing the doorbell, and you're just irritating the neighbor. 